Oh, hey, Shelly. Oh my gosh, Van, what is going on here? <laughs> you look like you were in a food fight. You're on the losing side. Mm. What are you doing? Well, I was baking uh, some cookies for the NASA Connect cast party. They turned out kind of hard, though. Oh, hard is an understatement. Van, you got some real problems here. Well, I thought maybe you could give me a hand and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Well, is this your recipe? Right. Well, I can hardly even read it. Well, it's a copy of a copy of a copy that my great-grandmother wrote a long time ago. Oh, man, Van, you got some problems. <laughs> you know, but maybe. Right now, WEC Channel 13, they have a daily cooking show. And if we are lucky, we may be able to actually catch the program and have something to help you with your problem. Okay. Coming to you from Hampton Roads, Virginia, and the WVEC Channel 13 studio, it's Cooking with the Stars with your host, Brittany Sutton. Hi, everybody. With me is this week's co-host, Daphne Reed. Daphne, have you ever picked up a copy of Bon Appetit, saw a picture of a delicious loaf of bread, and said, hey, I can make that. All I have to do is follow the recipe. Yeah. Well, you do, and guess what? It's not delicious. It's a disaster. Yeah, that's what happened to us last time we made some bread. Last time we did our show on Italian food, this is what happened. Yeah, I think the focaccia bread dough got the better of us. Yeah. Here to help us analyze the problem is a chemist from NASA Langley who specializes in developing recipes for future aerospace material. Our guest this week and our friend... Dr. Catherine Fay. Hi, Catherine. Hi. How are you? Hey. Hey. Fine. How are you doing? That's Kathy right. Fay. I know her from work. Catherine, great chefs are like, on some levels, great chemists. Now, we thought because you're a chemist, you might have some insight into what we did wrong last time. Now, would you explain how a chemist follows a recipe? Glad to help. For us at NASA Langley, our first step is to determine the requirements of the application. In your case, you need bread for an Italian meal. Making bread involves a chemical change. This is different from physical change, such as the boiling of water. That is, water becomes steam when heated, but when steam cools, it becomes liquid again. There is no change in the chemical identity of the substance. A chemical change or reaction involves the conversion of one substance into another. Mixing and baking bread is an example of a chemical change because the flour, sugar, and other ingredients are converted into a loaf of bread. Daphne, Brittany, having the proper ingredients is important. However, also knowing the properties of the ingredients is just as important in producing a successful recipe. Knowing the properties can also help you determine what went wrong. What were your ingredients? We had flour, water, yeast, sugar, and salt. Let's take a look at the properties of your ingredients. Flour contains gluten-forming proteins which allow the bread to rise. Water helps the gluten make the dough rise. Yeast causes the bread to rise and imparts flavor. Sugar provides food for the yeast and salt slows the yeast activity. What was wrong with your bread? Well, here's ours, and it sure looks like the bread didn't <laughs> rise. Now, I bought a loaf of focaccia this morning from the Chesapeake Bagel Bakery. Oh, let's take a look at the difference here. Wow. What went wrong? Uh, there are three possibilities. Too much salt, the yeast was dead, or insufficient rise time. A successful recipe is determined by using the proper ingredients, using the right amounts, mixing the ingredients properly, and heating and cooling as required. It's sort of like what we do at NASA Langley for recipes of materials used in airplane and space vehicle research. This means proper ingredients, correct processing, fabrication, and analysis. Catherine, thanks for bringing some science to our show and helping us clear up our focaccia flop. <laughs> well, there you have it. The right recipe begins with the right ingredients. Yeah, we've also learned from Catherine that knowing the properties of those ingredients can help the cook better predict what will happen when the ingredients are mixed, substituted, or changed. Our cooking and yours is likely to be more successful when you know this, especially when you're trying to cook up a recipe, recipe for, for the, the future. future.